What's up, everybody? It's uh, Justin from Super Street Bike Magazine. We're back down in the cage working on my 2009 uh, Yamaha R6 long term bike. As you can see, it's already up on the, uh, the race stands, and I'm going to be installing some pretty sick CTS Moto rotors. Full floating rear, 100% made in America, some floating fronts. Not only do these bad dogs look a whole lot better, but uh, they're going to drop some weight and uh, increase some bite. So before I get started, I'll go ahead and show you the R6. Normally it's not this dirty, but got a good rain this morning, so I had to ride in the water. All right, when you check back, I'll uh, have the sick rotors mounted up, and I'll show you what they look like. Here's a quick peek at the stalkers. Look all right, but uh, we can definitely do a whole lot better. Here's a look at the, uh, the rear one, too. There's another thing to note too, this rear rotor is a solid mounted rotor. As you can tell right here, it doesn't float. On the CTS counterpart, if you look, it's full floating. Alright, what's up everybody? It's uh, Justin from Super Street Bike. We're back and uh, just got done installing uh, CTS rotors. With the rear full floating on and then both fronts on. Uh, they went on in about an hour or so, taking our time, cleaning the bike too. Uh, that's another tip is, uh, while you have your rotors off and stuff, it's a good chance to uh, and then clean all around in there and take a look at your brake lines and everything, take a look at your radiator, take a look at your chain, just kind of look at everything. Um, not only do they look a whole lot better, but uh, the fronts dropped just under a pound each, so that's about two pounds rolling weight up front and about a half pound out back. So rolling weight generally, you multiply it by three, three and a half, four. So basically that's taking about ten pounds of weight, so it makes uh, quite a bit of difference. So uh, yeah, I'd say they're pretty good. You can get them at ctsmoto.com.